Hello and welcome to Gambia! The smiling coast of Africa! <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! My name is Aliu, I come from the Gambia and Gambia is a very nice country peaceful country, everybody like the Gambia. The Gambia is the smallest country on mainland Africa and its borders are entirely surrounded by Senegal and the Atlantic Ocean. I'm here to explore for the next few days to see what's going on. My local friend Tita met us after we crossed the border. Hi, how are you? Come in. And she gave us a great introduction to her country. The Gambia is actually the smallest country, mainland. <laughs> and it's very beautiful. It has uh, a lot of beautiful things and the most important thing is peace and the nature. Our first stop led us to see monkeys in the wild. How do you feel being surrounded by monkeys? I think if I stay here for about five minutes, I think it's my family. Then we proceeded to roam around some markets. It's so colorful and busy around here. Which were a bit too crowded for my liking, but it's always a great way to dive into local culture. And speaking of culture, the Gambia is a very conservative Muslim country and I found it really unique how so many women are dressed in all white. Because they go to Arabic school, so they put on the white veil. You know, Islam means peace. Yes. I find the capital city of Banjul to be much smaller than other West African capitals. It has a few nice buildings, another big market, and a not so clean coastline. It's also really hot and humid here. It's so hot, man like really hot and humid. Sitting here baking in this car because they told us to wait in the car. In terms of nature, the Gambia has it all. Palm trees, jungle, beaches, and tons of wildlife. The natural beauty is the best thing about the country so far. Amazingly, the Gambia is so small that we've already covered half the country in two hours. And if I'm being honest, it's not exactly my favorite place in the world. It seems to be a rundown party hotspot among Europeans with not so clean bars, clubs, and lots of sex tourism. That being said, I did enjoy the hospitality of the people. It's only Gambia, it's only peace we have in this country, man, and love from unity and everything, you know? Believe me, they don't call it the smiling coast of Africa for nothing. People are generally really happy and they're also very welcoming. A friendly country to anyone. So which country do you come from? America. From America? Yeah. You from Spain? Yes. How is the people of Spain? Is this the first time to come to the Gambia? Yes, sir. So how do you see our country? Very nice people, nice beaches. Thank you very much, thank you very much, thank you very much. All in all, the Gambia has been a strange yet interesting place and I don't know when I'll return. We are now exiting the Gambia, going through the Senegalese border. It's been a very interesting two and a half days in Gambia. It's certainly not my favorite country in the world. It's a difficult life to say the least. And one thing that I didn't really talk about in the video, um, but I think it's important to mention is that there's a huge sex tourism industry here. I've seen a lot of older white European women over 65 years old as well as men coming here for very young locals. You know, I see it in other parts of the world, in Thailand and etc. But here it's like the whole economy is pretty much built on this uh, sex tourism. So I found it to be quite disturbing and a bit of a hindrance to let us enjoy the country. But nonetheless, we are heading onwards to Dakar right now which I'm super excited, I've heard great things about it and it's going to be a wonderful end to this intense West African overland journey. See you there. I've been hearing Tita speak and it's a mixture of English and some local dialects, so could you just teach me one phrase? Uh, itodo. Itodo? That means what's your name? So Itodo. Tida. Teach me one more word, like thank you. Abarakabake. Abarakabake? Yes, that's it. Cool, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.